Hey, what's up YouTube? Scott here with another 5150 Photogs tutorial. Today we're looking at creating the ultimate sky. Uh, the ultimate sky being uh, making an adjustment to the upper portion of the screen, hopefully the upper portion, um, without affecting anything on the lower half of the screen uh, to the same extent or the same strength. Now this shot we're looking at here was taken with my drone. It was about 50 feet, 60 feet in the air taken with three different images. All I did was stitch these together. Today we're working in Lightroom CC. This will work with any version of Lightroom that has the gradient tool. First things first, you can see on the right hand side I've already done some localized adjustments. Localized adjustments are adjustments that take place for the whole image. So if I was to grab my clarity and move it all the way up, it adjusted the clarity in the sky and the ground. The same thing if I wanted to move it down, it would adjust it back again as well. Both of those look horrible. So what I want to do is I want to bring out some more of the blues, some more of the detail in the sky. So I've done adjustments to my highlights, adjustments to my whites and my blacks. I've left my shadows alone. I have not touched them and I have not touched my exposure either. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to come over here to the gradient tool. You can either hit M or you can click on it. You're going to get the crosshairs. Click on the top of the screen. You're going to drag it downwards. And you can see if you press O, you can see what your gradient is going to look like. Strongest is going to be at the top, towards the middle where it's going to fall off. Bottom, there shouldn't be any adjustments made. Now, really what we want is that horizon line to be across the middle of the screen, if that's where your horizon is. Or you want it to follow uh, the tree line or the ocean line, whatever it is. This effect is going to really help you with sunsets and things like that, where your camera has exposed for the whole image and has ended up blowing out some of the sky, or the vibrance in the sky is not as nice as you remembered it. So now that we have our gradient selected where we want it to affect, we're just going to take the exposure. Now this is the trick. Here it comes because it's really fast. And we're just going to lower the exposure. That's it. Sky is better already than it was. Now, sometimes what happens is you wind up making an adjustment up here that has a little bit of an effect in the middle of the photo. In my case, in this photo, it's probably not a big deal. These houses darkened up a little bit. All you're going to do is grab the shadows, move them back. Houses are not as dark anymore. And the reason that happened was because the gradient is a gradual change from the sky. If you look at the sky, sometimes it looks like it's bluer. The higher up you go and it comes down, you get a little more haze and whatnot. This is not using the dehaze slider because that creates saturation and sharpness and other things in the photo that you probably don't want. So this is the easiest way to make an adjustment just to the sky. Now that being said, where is this going to help you? This is going to help you with a sunset. This is going to help you when your sunset is overexposed because the camera has exposed for the entire scene and what's happened is you really you want the tree line down below, let's say, for context of where the image was taken or the road or whatever you're above, but really your focus is the nice sunset. It's the colors, the brightness, the clarity. This trick alone is going to help you make the adjustment of the exposure on the top half of the screen and it's going to make the sunset look nicer and more real. I'm going to hit enter and going to lock that in. The next thing I want to do with this image is I may just take my gradient. If you haven't already got it selected again, you can create multiple gradients. I'm going to click here. I'm going to drag from the bottom all the way to the top. I'm going to put my midpoint about the same. doesn't matter if it's a little below, a little bit above, whatever. I'm going to do uh, press O. It's going to show you my gradient is going from the bottom to the top. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want to create a little more saturation in the bottom half of the photo, but I don't want to affect the top half. And the reason is because I don't want the sky to be bluer than the grass is greener, if that makes sense. This is going to, again, help you sunsets, right? You want to make an adjustment to make the intensity of the sky blue and not the blue, not the tree line or the road or whatever. You could do it in the reverse that we've just done. So with this gradient selected, you can see any adjustments I make are going to be the bottom half of the screen. I'm not going to touch the exposure because if I do that, it's going to make it look really strange. Same thing again either way. So we're going to leave the exposure where, exposure where it is. I am going to bump my saturation up just a little bit, not a lot. Too much saturation, it's going to look fake and it's not going to look um, authentic. I'm going to hit enter to lock that in. I'm going to close my gradient tool and I'm just going to press Y and you can see a quick comparison. Now again, this may not be the best photo to demonstrate this on. If you have a sunset or something that you've taken with your drone or your own camera, uh, please, I urge you to try this. This is going to help you immensely make your photos look better. 
I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please subscribe to my thread. Don't forget to send comments down below. And if you have any questions, you can message me, you can email me, or you can contact me through 5150 Photogs for Twitter. Thank you very much and enjoy the photos.